Here is a short video on beading tubes in a, a coal-fired steam uh, boiler. Uh, this is just a small boiler from uh, a, a 30 foot launch. Uh, it's quite handy to show you this because obviously it's smaller, you can, uh, we can get the camera close. Uh, if we're in a firebox of a locomotive or a traction engine, it's more difficult. So we've got the same type of tubes, uh, 3.2 uh, wall thickness, eighth of an inch wall thickness tubes. These are inch and a quarter OD. We're going to use a Boyer number one hammer. Uh, this one's got an outside handle. We're going to use that. And we've got the two tools for the job. This is the first tool. And with this one, we're going to fold over the end of the tube to an angle of 90 degrees, as you can see from the shape on the end there. This is homemade, as you can see. This one's got a hex gun on the end. So when it's in the Boyer gun, it doesn't turn, so when you turn the whole, the whole gun, then uh, you can actually manipulate this around the tube. The other chisel, which I've just thrown on the floor, is um, this type. This has got a plain end, and this we can rotate with our fingers when we come to finish inside the gun without having to turn the gun. So we've got a two-pronged operation. First, we're gonna go 45 degrees with this, and then we're gonna finish with this. Okay. Ear defenders on. We put the, whole, the uh, first tool in the tube and then we just rotate as we push it out. You can see from that it was I had was able to turn the chisel with the hex gun and steer it round in order to push the tube out. So it's now out at 90 degrees inclusive, but we've got to be careful not to keep on hammering and flatten this area where it comes around the radius because otherwise it will thin the material right down. So we've pushed it out so far. We're now going to put the other tool in this one, and then we're going to finish it off. Again, ear defenders back on. Just a quick check with the fingernail to make sure that the tube is pushed down onto the plate because we don't want any uh, products of combustion getting behind there, in between there and causing corrosion. Okay, so that's that one. We'll, we'll have a go at another one now uh, on the full sequence. beading tubes just like that <laughs> 